Hey everyone, it's Jamie. Welcome back. So today's haul is a Dollar Tree haul and I'm going to be showing you guys all of the wooden blank cutouts that I have found at my local Dollar Trees for Easter. And then I've also got a few ribbon that um, is new at my Dollar Tree that I thought I'd show you guys. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start showing you guys what I found, but um, I just if you guys watched my last Dollar Tree haul, I told you all that I had um, ocular rosacea, which is why I didn't post a video for a while. And um, I'm happy to say that it's starting to get much, much better. Um, I am able to wear a little bit of makeup now, but um, it's still kind of difficult to be wearing makeup. So I don't have a whole lot on, just a little bit. But um, Ocular rosacea really sucks. I didn't know what was wrong with me. I thought that I just was having an allergic reaction to something because it lasted for a really long time. So I cut out a bunch of stuff out of my diet thinking that maybe I was allergic to dairy or gluten or something like that. Um, we did find out that I am allergic to zinc for some reason. I don't know why, but... Um, I had a really bad outbreak when I was taking zinc and I had taken zinc for quite a while since um, when I first got sick with, um, you know, the Rona. <laughs> um, so I was taking zinc then and I just continued to take it. So I don't know, I was, my face started getting really red and I had dry patches everywhere went down my neck. So I quit taking the zinc and that helped cleared it up a little bit, but then I couldn't get it to go away from my around my eyes. My eyes were so irritated. I was in so much pain. It was so uncomfortable. So finally, when I had an eye exam, I asked the eye doctor if he could look at my eyes and tell me what he thought was going on or if I needed to go see my general practitioner. And he told me that I had ocular rosacea and prescribed me some medication to take and I've been on it for two weeks now and I have to say it is helping me tremendously so yeah I was able to put a little bit of makeup on today so I can get on the camera um let me know though whenever I posted my Dollar Tree haul last week and I was just showing you the products and I wasn't on the, on camera you were just seeing my hands do you prefer that type of video for Dollar Tree hauls or do you prefer me to get on here on camera so you guys can see me showing you the products or just my hands? Let me know. Let me know down below in the comments because if you like it that way with me just showing my hands, that's what I'll do. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead. I hope this video isn't too, too long. I'm trying to keep my Dollar Tree hauls at least 10 minutes long. So... Because I see, it seems like I get more, you know, more views if my videos are a little bit shorter. So, um, and I get it. Not everybody has time to sit around for half an hour watching a Dollar Tree haul. So, um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you some of the wooden cutouts, blanks that I found for Easter at my Dollar Tree. So, the first one that I'm going to show you is this. This is the Color Your Own Ornament. You get eight in here. Um, I went ahead and picked up the egg-shaped ones which you could use these not only for Easter, but you can do, you know, different things with these. Um, but I did get these, and I think I had some also that I hauled that were um, bunnies, Easter bunnies. So anyway, I went ahead and grabbed the eggs because I hadn't seen them at my Dollar Tree. So I picked up one package of those. And then they had these ornaments, which they have been putting these sort of things out um, for the last year or two. And um, so... I think this is the first year that they put out for Easter. So I did grab three different ones. Now they had, I think a chick was on one of them and I didn't really like that one. Uh, so I didn't grab it, but I did get this. This one is um, the carrots. You get 14 in here. And I think these are really, really cute. Um, I don't really know why they're calling them ornaments because there's not like, there's not a hole in it or they don't give you string um, to hang it. So I would just say that these are little wood, I don't know, wooden pieces or something. <laughs> but anyway, I thought these were cute. So I grabbed the carrots and then I grabbed one package of these that are uh, the miniature Easter eggs. They're miniature eggs. And you also get 14 of these in there. 
And then these bunnies, I grabbed those. Same thing. These are so cute. So I grabbed one of those. Um, okay, so for the, like the blank, like the signs that you can get, you can do it yourself kind of signs. They had, you know, several to choose from. Um, so I just grabbed the ones that I liked the most and that I would probably use. So um, the first two, which I got the same, I got two of these. These are the, um, actually, are these the same? Yeah, these are the same. Um, these are the little wooden cutout bunnies, which these are really, really cute. So there are all kinds of things you can do with these, all kinds of DIYs for Easter, um, whatever you wanted to do. So this is the one side of them. And then on the other side, it is completely blank. There is no um, extra little raised pieces. Like on the front, you have these ears and then you have his little bunny tail back here. So on this side, it's completely different, but you do kind of have like a silhouette or whatever of um, his bunny tail. So anyway, I thought that was really cute. So I did grab two of those. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with these just yet, but um, I have been thinking of some DIYs that I could probably do with these. Um, this one I thought was so stinking adorable and you guys, I just love little bunny booties. I think they are so cute. So, um, and I have a DIY or a wreath tutorial for um, a bunny butt wreath, which turned out super cute. And um, anyway, I'll link that down in the description if you guys are interested in going and watching that. But speaking of bunny booties, look at this. These are so stinking cute. So I did grab two of these. These are so cute. Now these would look really cute if you did paint them up or, you know, decorate them up and then put them in the center of a wreath. That would look really, really cute. So anyway, I thought these were just adorable. I did grab two of them and they are a pretty good size. So these would fit nicely down in um, the center of a, uh, a wreath if you wanted to. But I think that's so cute. He's got the uh, little bunny feet back here, his little paws. And then the back side is just plain. They do give you a jute twine hanger to hang it with if you choose to. So I thought those were really cute. Okay, now these are, they're blank, but they're also painted. So, which is good because if you're someone that doesn't want, you know, to take the time to paint, or maybe you don't have any paint to paint them, these are already kind of painted for you. So um, anyway, I thought these were really, really cute. And I love this sort of bunny shape. Um, so yeah, now they are only painted on one side. The other side is completely um, blank. So if you wanted to do something different on this side, you could. But I think these are really pretty. Now I did get two of them. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys how you can see the wood grain through there. So it's a really light sort of coat of white paint on there. So anyway, I think this is really, really nice. So I did get to, like I said, now they have this one and this is a little chick and I only got one of these because I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do. I don't know. Now with these little chicks, I feel like you could do something other than Easter with these. Um, because they're like little baby chicks, so maybe you could do something really cute. Maybe put a monogram, um, your child's initial, and this would look really cute in their nursery. Or, you know, something like that. I thought that would be really cute. So anyway, I just grabbed one of these. And then these last two little blank cutouts are um, Easter eggs, or egg shape. And they are um, painted white already on one side and then the other side is plain. So you could do whatever you wanted to with these. Um, this would be a really great project also for kids if you wanted to give them some um, markers or some you know, paints and a paintbrush and let them do their own sort of Easter egg decoration sort of thing on here or glitter and you know glue and glitter or whatever you wanted to do. I think this would be really, really cute. So I did grab two of those. Okay, so now that is all of the wood blanks that I found. So I'm going to move on and show you guys some of the ribbon that I found. Um, now, Dollar Tree had a lot of the same ribbon that they have every year for Easter. So I didn't really get any of that because I already have plenty of that. 
Um, but they did have this kind of ribbon. Now I grabbed four of these. Now this isn't Easter, this was for the Valentine's, but you can use this for any time of year. It doesn't have to be Valentine, um, but it's the red and white gingham or buffalo check, whatever you wanna call it. So I did grab four rolls of this because um, I use this in Christmas wreaths that I make, or you know, you can use it for anything. Christmas, uh, Valentine's Day, 4th of July, summertime, like a picnic or whatever, if you have like a picnic themed wreath or um, your home decor or whatever, you're going with some sort of a, a theme, a country theme or something. Uh, anyway, I grabbed four of those and those are wired. Now I went ahead and I have bought this before from Walmart. This is, I believe this is a Walmart brand or you can get it at Walmart anyway, but it is the um, Ofre or Ofre. I don't really know how you pronounce it, but they had a whole bunch of different ribbon to choose from. Um, so I didn't get every single one of them because you guys, it was really hard because I love ribbon. I'm an addict. I love ribbon. I am addicted to ribbon. So anyway, I just grabbed the ones that I really liked. So, and I did get two each of the ones that I really liked. So the first two that I found are these, and let's put these back there. Um, now these are, they have little Easter eggs all over them. So cute. Now these are, I believe these are the two, I don't know if it says on here, one and a half inch, um, you get six feet. So, now the Dollar Tree brand, you can usually get, I think it's nine feet um, of ribbon. So six feet, you're three three feet short, which now that Dollar Tree is $1.25 for their ribbon, I'm not, or for everything, I'm not really sure if $1.25 is the greatest deal for these because usually if you wait until the ribbon and stuff is on 50% uh, off at Hobby Lobby, you can get it for cheaper price for a lot more. So, but anyway, I grabbed these because I thought they were cute and I wasn't near a Hobby Lobby at this time during this day. But, um, and these are wired because it does say wire on the um, print right here, this little thing. But anyway, I did grab two of those. They also had this one that had the little bunnies on it. Now I'm not sure, I don't think that this one is wired. And it's the same, it's the one and a half inch wide by six feet. But this is really pretty because I love all those little bunnies on there. I just love those springy, happy pastel colors. So pretty. So I did grab two of those. They also had um, this pink one and it is also the one and a half inch by six feet. And this one is not wired either, I don't think, because it's not, yes it is, yes, yes, yes. It is, it is wired. So anyway, I grabbed these. This pink color is really pretty. This comes in handy too for Valentine's Day, Easter, um, you know, any kind of uh, holiday where you're using pinks. I've even seen at Christmas time people using pink in their decor for Christmas. So um, anyway, just thought I'd put that out there so you guys can, you don't have to wait around for Christmas or um, you know, any other holiday to get certain ribbon. You can still get it now and then use it, put it back for later. So, um, the next two that I found are these, it just says Happy Easter and it's got like little flowers and eggs, um, all around it with a white background. I thought this was really cute and this one is wired also. And then the last little roll of ribbon that I got is this. This has, I think I got something similar to this last year at Dollar Tree. That is a Dollar Tree brand. Um, but it looks pretty similar to this. Um, this one has the little bunnies on it with their little booties showing. This is so stinking cute. So I did just grab one roll of these and I don't think this one is wired. This is the 5 8 inch and this one is 9 feet. So, um, yeah, pretty good deal right there. And like I said, this Ofre or Ofre, I don't know how you want to pronounce it, but um, I do see this brand at Walmart. So I did grab that. 
So anyway, that is the end of this haul, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, comment down below and let me know whatever you want to let me know because I've been away for so long. I feel like, you know, I've missed you guys. So anyway, I hope you all are having a great day. Have a happy Valentine's Day because that is coming up really, really soon. It is Friday when I'm filming this. So hopefully I can get this up today. If not, you will see it definitely on Saturday. So anyway, yeah. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to y'all later.